How you guys doing today? It's Sunday. As you can see, it's really sunny. And I forgot my sunglasses. So here's the thing. Um, I have a call from a new builder. The new builder wants me to start hanging, uh, to start doing the drywall for them. And, uh, he wants me to buy all the materials and everything. So what I'm gonna do um, on this video, I'm gonna show all you guys how to uh, do a board count or how to measure it. That way you have to know whenever, if you are a homeowner, you know where to start to measuring and and get the uh, uh, correct amount of drywall, not get too much or not get uh, not enough, okay? So this is the house, a simple house, 10 foot high ceilings, 10 foot ceilings. And uh, upstairs we have a bonus room and downstairs we have a uh, basement. And obviously, I'm gonna give you a walk up. I'm just gonna walk up uh, a little bit so you can have a, an idea about the house, okay? So, I think this is too low. I think this is too low. I don't know why they passed the inspection. Well, they haven't get inspe framing inspection yet. This is the bonus room up here, which I see the, this um, line right here is not straight. I can see it right away. I'm a drywall hanger and I'm not a framing, but I'm not a carpenter, but I can see that it's not, it's not straight, but I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. So basically in here, all I'm going to need is a four by 12, four by 12 sheets. The only thing is that they don't have nowhere to get the drywall up here. Unless they take this thing here, that's the only place they, they're gonna be able to use to, to get the drywall up here. Otherwise, I don't know where they can they can bring the drywall up here because you cannot bring it through the stairwell. I mean we can use that hole right there, but it's gonna be it's gonna be too hard, too tight. So basically in here it's pretty simple, but I, I'll show you that later in the video. Let me walk down there. And uh, I'm gonna show you how we do or how I do to have the right amount of drywall right now for this house. Like you see on, on my on my videos, whenever I count the drywall, if I can stand up like some pieces in here, I will stand it up, stand it up. Everywhere where is uh, four foot and less, I will stand it up like this. I'll stand that up, stand that up inside the closet, but uh, I will show you in a few minutes. Okay, vente para acá, vamos a apuntar aquí. Nomás grabas la libreta. Okay, so I'm gonna make a list about what type of drywall I'm gonna be using and uh, which levels. Uh, I'm gonna start on the uh, bonus room, like. And then uh, I will with a uh, main floor. Then I uh, will go with um, basement. I mess it up and then what I do to don't get confused I, I, I just write down here 4 by 12 upstairs I don't need any purple board or um, 5 baits in main floor I'm gonna use 4 by 12 stretch board and uh, uh, MRs so 4 by 12 and um, 54 by 12 and then MRs to whoever don't know what a MR means is moisture resistance it's the blue board or purple board or green board 
to us it's the same we call it MR up to the purple board there. either either way you can use green board blue board or purple board it has to be uh, moisture resistance or waterproof okay so I'm gonna start measuring back there but I forgot my tape so I'm gonna pause the video and come back in a few in a few seconds So basically, whenever you're going to start uh, measuring the walls, you have to measure how high they are. Like in here, we have nine foot tall, and all the way up is ten foot high. Like, and then uh, we're going to be using stretch board on these walls here. I mean, you can measure it. You can measure it. But if you know, you can uh, you can just use your mind. Like I will go like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. Uh, I need twelve. Um, uh, Fifty-four by twelve. And then I do this. Okay. I go like this, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, that's 10, 12, okay, that's, that's what I do, then I count it out, uh, at the end, of, at the end, whenever I finish, I will count, count how many I got, and then here we're going to have for the gloves, so we're going, one, two, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, uh, four by twelve. And then all this inside is gonna get a uh, green board or MRs. And then you have to figure it out how you're gonna start from the ceiling. Like, you're gonna start from this end and break it right in here. So it's gonna say, Two, three on the ceiling, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I'm going to put eighteen. Eighteen uh, MRs. Okay, Okay, guys, so I'm done. Uh, I count. I got the bonus room, which I got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 28 sheets upstairs on the bonus room. Then on the garage, I have. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 5, 8. All the ceiling, it gets fucked. And then this wall, this wall here, all the way across. And it's three sheets from the top to the bottom. So that's 25, um, 5, 8. And then I got 25 uh, half inch for these walls here, for all these walls here. And then I got the... Uh, main floor which i got like i don't know i, I will say it probably 120 130 something like that 5 10 15 Actually, it's 195 on the main floor. 195, 50 on the on the garage, 28 on the bonus room, and then we have uh, MRs. We have uh, so it's a uh, 230 boards in total on the main floor. 230 and um, 50 on the garage, 28 on the bonus room, and then on the basement we got. Um,
83 sheets on 83 boards on on the on the uh, basement so we're done we're ready to go it's sunday enjoy the day i work like probably three three four on, on the other house that i was working yesterday and somebody forgot to lock the somebody forgot to close the enclosed trailer they leave it open so I'm gonna try to give a walk once I'm here on the video. I'm gonna try to get a walk on that oh, on that other house because that house is finished already and I haven't seen it. So someone else, obviously, someone else did the house. Someone else did the the, uh, the hanging and the finishing, but it's already primed. So I'm just gonna give a quick walk through that house, maybe. I don't get in trouble. Hopefully, I don't get in trouble. I, I'm guessing it's the same builder that is building these houses. I don't know. Might be some other company, you know. Let, let, let's walk. It's hard to see on the video. It's hard to, to to. It's hard for you guys to see how it how it really looks. It, it looks pretty good though. It doesn't look bad, to be honest. I wish I had a light. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I wish I had my work light or uh, oh, what do you see here? Uh, thing is that it has a real um, thick primer, but I can still see the nails here. It's a pretty good size house, you know. Can you see the nails there, like all those shadows? Whenever we use glue, you don't see that. You don't see that. And you see the, the joint in there, how wide it is. It's only like probably eight inch wide. And we made it like 18 inch wide whenever we we're done with the finishing. But it looks pretty good. It doesn't look bad. Yeah, I don't hang that. I don't hang this house. I don't know who who, who did the, the drywall on this house, but it looks good. How do you see that corner? It looks pretty straight. Yes, it does. Well, you see that joint right there. Hmm. Okay, I think the video is going is getting too long, so I'm gonna have to cut the video. See here, see what they did in here. They start with a four foot on the top, and then they stand up the other the other piece on the bottom. It's a six foot, and see here the joint. You can feel you can feel that bump in here. It's like I don't know. Same on this one, you can do that, you can do that. I mean, if you start with a four foot, four foot, and then two foot on the bottom, but don't do this, because I mean, this, this bump, you're gonna be able to see it all day. I mean, you can do this like on this, on this small pieces right here, you can do that, that's fine. Not even here, not even here. I can feel that bump here. 
I wish you can you can feel it. I wish you can feel it. See, and they then they put the recess to to the edge. That's something you don't do. You have to use you have to cut it like this side. Don't use this. Don't go this to a corner bit or to a door like this. That's not good. It's okay. Let's go home, guys. I mean, let's go. Let's go have some fun. Maybe go to the store. Maybe go to the mall. I don't know. Yeah. It looks good. What do you think? There is too many finishers. There is a lot of finishers watching my videos. What do you think? Looks good or doesn't? It looks good to me.